quick demonstration of the Cybex S8 GTR package for 2012. Here we've got the graphical user interface of SCAL, which is the configuration software for calibrating the Cybex ECU. As you can see, the package is full standalone. Here's the standard unit, and there we have the S8 with a patch loom uh, in order to make it plug and play. The car runs as standard. On the dash at the moment, we've got a warning for the tyre pressure being low, as you can see there. We'll just get rid of that and everything else working. We've also got the bonnet rams light on, which is uh, due to on a demonstrator car, we've removed the rams uh, for a lot of the testing we've been doing. Uh, as you can see, with the, this car is equipped with ID1000s, rock solid, stable, idle. Let's look closely at the software then. As you can see here, first of all we've got the ability of a calibration switch. The calibration switch is the ability to be able to change any of the parameters on the ECU um, which are in a strategy live from the steering wheel button. So in here you can actually change between say fuel maps uh, and on here at the moment we're just using the one fuel map but by pressing the steering wheel cruise up and down button you can flip between up to 12 maps. These maps are separated so you can change your fuel angle map, your injection split, uh, fuel split map, so if you've got uh, two batches of injectors, so if you've got six injectors to drive the engine normally and then another batch that kicks in for higher RPM, you can choose the point in which that map is. Close loop enable map for lambda and change of target on the switch. Rev limiter change, wastegate control, so you can change the boost targets, anti-lag strategies, nitrous control, dry and wet, uh, using the closed loop system of uh, providing fuel via the ECU as well. Gear shift, uh, change the gear shift maps that you've got uh, if you want to have the ability to have a softer uh, change map or more aggressive to suit the driving style you're actually doing. Pit limiter switch uh, from the race cars, um, sensor switch to be able to switch between different sensors and maps. Uh, logging switch can turn off the logging on the steering as well. Uh, the logging is constant. Um, it's got this this particular unit has got eight megabytes of memory uh, built in, which can enable up to about uh, depending on the amount of parameters you're logging and what frequency, uh, potentially up to nearly 24 hours. Um, you can log up to uh, 1,000 uh, uh, kilohertz, um, so you can actually log stuff pretty fast. Change the launch control. You can change your actual launch switch switches on. Uh, you can also change between uh, your drive-by-wire target on the launch and obviously your launch RPM you want to launch at as well. Not control, you can turn it on, off, change between whether it's advanced in the timing or not. Um, traction control, ability to change through different traction maps. Drive-by-wire, have different drive-by-wire pedal position to uh, uh, actual TPS position maps. Starting maps, um, you can actually stop the car starting in certain modes and anti-theft mode. Engine trips, at the moment you can change obviously engine trips um, to be on or off. At the moment we've got like limbo crankcase pressure, so the crankcase pressure gets too high at trips. Engine coolant temperature gets too high. Oil pressure trip, uh, oil temperature trip, all these mostly off at the moment. And the fuel pressure trip, which is based on relative pressure or to say absolute. Relative pressure is the best one to go for uh, because what it does is it watches the fuel pressure relative to the manifold pressure in the event of a change. Uh, in the relative pressure, say if one of your fuel pumps was failing, uh, it would actually trip the ECU into a map. Um, four different fuel maps we can set. Uh, these maps can be set to up to 50-50 scale. Um, at the moment you can see this just a, um, I'm not sure what the actual resolution is on this, but uh, I think this is about 25 by 30 I, think, I believe. But either way, um, it's fully configurable to what you'd like. Um, end, angle, end angle control and then corrections for Whichever you, whichever you wish. Close it lambda control, ability to be able to um, change the lambda targets, uh, the PID strategy for that as well, service interval, um, and obviously your targets here. At the moment, you can see it's aiming for 14.7, and you can see both the lambdas there are pretty much flicking around 14.7 perfectly. Okay, let's go to the next maps. Ignition maps, same again as above, all with the corrections as well. Wastegate control, so you've got a standard strategy and an old LMP strategy. The standard strategy is what's used in this car, so the ability to change your manifold pressure target. Also, you can fully configure the, the PID strategy on the actual wastegate control uh, in a 3D table. 
and change the integra. You can provide kicks, obviously you've got gear shift um, kicks and that, so obviously during a shift and that you can get it to pull back the boost for a split second. Gear cut, uh, the ability to change your ramp in and ramp out amount based on the torque request from the TCM. Um, so when you're in here, based on the torque uh, input and the amount of torque you would like to pull, you can determine how you'd like to do that by the event of say fuel cut severity, ignition cut, um, and fuel multiplier, drive by wire targets, and then you can change the ramp out. So when it ramps out, you can have a, um, a certain amount of retard uh, based on different gears and that. Um, but we need to go over that more with the, uh, with the tuner when it comes to the time being. Gear blip, ability to change uh, your actual target during the blip, how much you want it to actually blip the actual throttle. Uh, you can fully change all that and the amount of time it does it. Um, Anti-lag strategy, uh, the ability to have up to eight calibration changes, which you can uh, set your uh, ignition retard, fuel cut, uh, how much you want bypass duty on your throttle and that, so if you want it to open the throttle a certain amount. Uh, it's also got plenum dampening and high temperature recovery in the event of EGTs getting hot and much more. Um, that can be looked at more. Nitro strategy, obviously the ability to uh, fully map nitrous uh, system on the car. You can drive solenoids directly from the ECU um, and like I said earlier you can do it in a wet stage uh, where the ECU is providing um, a PWM out that drives both the nitrous and the fuel solenoids or you can do it as a dry stage which we recommend where you determine your amount of duty you'd like to provide and the ECU will work out the fuel add-in based on the parameters you input into the fuel tuning area. Uh, this is all, you can obviously change all this on different corrections for vehicle speed and that. Traction control system, uh, here you can define the minimum amount of slip you want, how you want the torque reduction clamp to be applied, you've got the ability to provide the um, traction control based on lateral G or steering angle, both of these items are picked up off the CAN bus, uh, off the standard car already, um, same as like the oil pressure and that, which you can see over here in the list of parameters, you've got oil pressure there, engine oil pressure, um, which is currently at 2000 millibar. But again, all the lateral G and that, and you can change between gauges. At the moment, I've got a set amount of gauges, but I can close those. Gauge, add anything you want. So, say lateral G, lateral G there, put it into a trace, maybe 100 hertz so you can watch it live. And you can see down here. At the moment, obviously, we're not moving. Uh, we're stationary, so that's not going to move. Let's put it back to the other gauges. Uh, so, you can have four different traction control maps based on speed and lateral G um, to do what you like. Not control. Um, this is a full uh, closed loop knock control system, uh, so in the event of a knock detection you can determine how much you would like the ignition to be retired in the first step. In severe event steps you can actually make it fully shut down the cylinder, so say if one of the injectors was failing, um, it was causing severe knock, you can actually get a full cylinder shut down uh, to make sure you don't uh, stick a leg out of bed. Uh, idle control at the moment, obviously this is just done on drive by wire, so you can see your target throttle position there. It is fully closed loop, so you basically tell it your target you want. This particular time I'm asking for 800, uh, and as you can see, uh, let's try and get that to clear a bit. It's pretty damn good. Okay. Launch control, ability to determine how much uh, launch you'd like, the amount of retard, ignition and cut, obviously a drive by wire launch assist as well, so you want to have your actual amount of um, you launch to say if you wanted to launch a different amount you can determine how much you want the throttle to be open. Um, the ramp in ramp out stuff is not displayed on this uh, at the moment because we're currently working on that. That's the most important part which we wanted to get right for the uh, lower and the quarter mile times in the GTR. Uh, the ability to change the, the ramp in after the launch um, on a stock ECU and if you've got say uh, two bar boost on the line using uh, uh, some form of retard or strategy or something when you launch the TCM ECU sets an amount of torque request that it wants and it pulls the throttle back in order to make that so what we're actually doing is we're actually telling the, the TCM that it's happy with the amount of t uh, TPS it's got and actually we're providing more uh, and the ability to actually have more power of the line for guys with built gearboxes etc drive by wire control ability to have up to four different uh, pedal to uh, TPS maps you can see here this is one, another one there which has got a lot more dampened lower down. Um, you can change all the position control and the drive by wire uh, strategy here for your, your PID maps etc. You can obviously also add um, different throttle bodies if you wanted to add say the LS7 throttle bodies which are much larger 
uh, you can do that. Variable valve timing, obviously is fully closed loop. You can basically set up already, you set your inlet angle target and away you go. All this is live by the way, it connects to it via an Ethernet RJ45 so you can see when I'm making change on the laptop it's near instant. Um, so no waiting around for ROM tune or anything, this is all live. Output functions, obviously you can determine whatever you want the fans to come on at, uh, alternator controls, different fuel pump controls at the moment so you can control both the fuel pumps in the car uh, and many other strategies on here for like water, injection variable intakes if you want to add stuff, rain lights for say different cars. Logging functions, change the logging parameters to change uh, when you want the logging to kick in etc. Data streams for the CAN bus stuff on the GTR um, which is obviously, as you can imagine, uh, hidden to stop other uh, manufacturers uh, getting what we've spent the last eight months doing. Uh, fuel consumption, so you can see that. Your brake points and threshold, just going over what I said earlier. Obviously, you can have up to 50 by 50 if required. At the moment, we're only using half that just because uh, obviously this is only a base map. Sensors, your list of sensors is endless if you want to add, say, I don't know, for example, four oil pressure sensors to monitor different parts of the engine, you can do that. Set your trips, engine oil level, damper positions for measuring downforce, etc. You name the sensor, we can do it. Uh, EGTs for each cylinder, crankcase pressure, whatever you like. Um, we can do it or we can add it. Um, but most of the stuff, as you can see, is here. Obviously, turbine pressure, turbo speed is quite useful for doing R&D on, um, on sun cars. Engine configuration, obviously, uh, enabled to set what the engine configuration is. At the moment, it's just set as GTR. Um, if you wanted to change the crank and cam, you can do that for any means of like, doing so. Uh, I.O. configuration is fully adjustable, so whatever pin you've put it on, you can basically set your I.O. to do whatever you want. Um, so if you wanted to say if you wanted to assign a, a current pin to do another job, you can just do that live in the software straight away. It's also got the output testing. So uh, in the event of obviously things changing, you want to test the output, say if you want to pulse the injectors or post the ignition system to make sure something's working when you've changed it, something, or a new engine build or change the loom, you can do all that on here. Uh, with the engine trips at the moment, you might notice it took a little bit longer uh, to start, which I can show you now. On this particular car, I'm actually waiting for oil pressure before it starts. So just to show you now. Not too bad, obviously the engine's warm now, so the oil pressure's up. You can turn it off if needs be, but uh, I like to have that just to make sure my uh, engine always lasts as uh, long as it can. But just to show you again, obviously I've started up there, low oil pressure again. Uh, not the low oil pressure, sorry, the low tyre pressure. Uh, but you can see the pickup is uh, fantastic now. idle down. There is a slight change, we've been changing quite a lot today on the, the map so we'll just change that there to bring the idle down so the close loop strategy kicks in a bit lower. Just show you quickly here obviously it can drive, put it into first gear and uh, you drive along as you wish. At the moment we're actually uh, in the workshop, so I don't want to drive too far, but um, we'll do another video to show it on the dyno, fully going over shifts at high power. Obviously, being able to change the actual torque and the demand and that, you can punch in whatever torque you want uh, via the GTR tables, which are uh, currently hidden from the software at the moment because obviously we don't want to give that kind of stuff out. Um, but um, we will be making certain aspects of that adjustable so you can actually change your torque actual value uh, when you're at full throttle uh, to make the clutches clamp harder. Uh, and the demand obviously allows you to change the points of shift and that uh, and so forth. Um, the traction control obviously still works through the switch, obviously the standard traction control system is no longer present because that's part of the standard ECU, but uh, everything else is part of the Cybex. Thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed.